It's Saturday, November 9th, and I found an article the other morning when I was searching for things to talk about about a woman in Gaza who was telling Al Jazeera that Hamas was stealing all the aid that was being sent to the people in Gaza who are struggling because of the ongoing Israeli invasion and the fact that all of them have been moved out of their homes and are roaming around the country trying to find places to be safe. And these packages of aid have been conscripted by Hamas and taking into their tunnels. And apparently this reporter does not believe the story that this woman is telling him. Now this is a very rare situation because Gaza residents don't tell people about what's being done to them by Hamas. So this woman probably risked her life by telling Al Jazeera TV channel that the lack of aid to residents was being stripped due to Hamas stealing it. When the woman was asked about the supposed trickle of aid coming into Gaza, the woman says there's plenty of aid, but it's all going down into the tunnels. The aid does not reach all the people, she said. And the journalist from the pro-Palestinian Qatari channel tells her that only a small amount of aid is coming into the country and is all being distributed. And she shakes her fingers at him and says that all of it is going into their houses. They take it and they even shoot me or do whatever they want, Hamas. Now this video is out there on uh, the Times of Israel channel if you want to see it. And this was a surprise supposedly to the Algiers reporter. He didn't believe the woman. Or maybe he's just very comfortable in taking Hamas's word for the story. Who knows? But it should be that if this woman complains to a reporter, that reporter has an obligation to check it out. So this woman is telling the reporter that the aid is not reaching the people, it's going down into the tunnels. And the reporter is saying, no, no. She keeps after him and she says, go look, you'll see, it's all going down into the tunnels. We're not getting it. And it's a crowd of onlookers standing around. And it's amazing to see this elderly woman talking to this, I don't know, he was probably a man in his 30s, the reporter, telling him he better do his job. He should go look and find it. Nothing is going to the people. It's all going down into the tunnel. And this went on for about 30, 35 seconds, and then it ended. And I have no reason to not believe the woman, and so should the reporter, given that all the facts that we know about Hamas and their tunnels. And if this person is a true reporter, they should get on their ass and go find that tunnel and everything and the aid that supposedly was supposed to go to the people. So I'll leave you with that story for a minute and talk about Hunter Biden. It's a tax case. And Hunter Biden faces nine criminal charges in this federal tax case. Now, this has been a long-running investigation into his taxes. And it's the second criminal case that the special counsel, David Weiss, has brought against Hunter Biden. And the charges are going through nine counts, including failure to file and pay taxes, evasion of the assessment, false or a fraudulent tax return. David Weiss and his team have accused Hunter Biden of engaging in a four-year scheme to not pay at least $1.4 million in taxes that he owed from 2016 to 2019. And Biden did eventually pay his taxes from 2018. But the prosecutors allege that he included false business deductions in order to evade assessment of taxes 
and to reduce the substantial tax liabilities he faced. Now, I'm telling you that I know that businesses run a certain way, and businesses have exemption that the average individual doesn't have. And so taxes are a very complicated process, and many, many huge companies don't pay taxes at all. Amazon doesn't pay any taxes. And there are many other companies that don't pay tax. Because on the tax codes, there's something like 170 exemptions that corporations and businesses, small and large, that are entitled to take. And there are many people that run little businesses and dodge taxes by using their expense accounts instead of salaries and stuff. So there's a lot of that that goes on. And I'm I'm sure that Hunter Biden took advantage of all of those conditions. And it looks very bad, and I think that he overdid it. There's no question in my mind that he overdid it. But it was, but it's time that the government put an end to this whole thing. They're dragging it out because they're the Republicans and he's the president's son. Otherwise, this thing would have been put to bed a long, long time ago. Charges associated with these with these nine counts were written in a document that covered 56 pages. Now, how many pages do you need to explain nine tax situations? Maybe one page for each tax situation be enough. So these guys are building up a monstrous case, and it is a monstrous case, but they were overdoing it because they want to take President Biden down. And there's no other excuse that I can give for them going after Hunter Biden continuously for I don't know how many years. This thing hasn't gone away for a long time. Now, Hunter Biden's attorney said in a statement, and I agree with this lawyer 100%, based upon the facts and the law, if Hunter's last name was anything other than Biden, The charges in Delaware and now California would not have been brought. The U.S. Attorney Weiss bowed to Republican pressure to file unprecedented and unconstitutional gun charges to renege on a non-prosecution resolution. Now, after five years of investigation with no new evidence and two years after Hunter paid his taxes in full, the U.S. attorney has piled on new charges. So does this look good to us as America? Do we believe in this kind of thing? No, but it's a political thing. It's Hunter Biden did some bad things. But he's the president's son, and that's why the opposition party is going after him. And so let us not look at Hunter Biden as anything more than a highly stupid individual who's been in what I will call a privileged life for a long time and has taken advantage of that privilege. And it's caught up with him. And now the real reason that he's being tried is because they want to disgrace his father and prevent him from being in office after 2024. So I leave you with that this morning. Have a great day. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.